what's up guys it's friday we got the fusion event going on right now and we also have the 2x event for sacreds i'm gonna pull all of my shards and get some dopamine rush and enjoy the weekend now for you guys there's a couple different options you don't have to pull everything you only need 1.5k points for the fusion in the champion training tournament now i will show it to you this is some kind of you know miracle thing that plarium is doing to <laughs> try to ruin my day i have no idea what's happening but every time i open the champion training tournament my camera freezes and i've tried to record this video a couple times so i can't show you the <laughs> show you the tournament but you need 1.5k points or 1.550 and th this one is one of those events where it's iron g it's not 500 per sacred shard it's probably gonna take you a few more than three shards to do it but you could do that and then be done with it save the shards for some one plus event one plus one event that we maybe get next week or a potential potential guaranteed event for sacreds though i would say that i wouldn't really hold my hopes up for a good guaranteed event on sacred charts unless you care about hydra i mean there might always be a mediocre hydra champion in it but if we look at the champion roster right right now for the normal shards meaning ancients and sacreds the only relevant champion in endgame pvp is Harima. No, nobody else matters. I don't think nobody else will ever matter. I mean, Armand is good, but you probably have him and you only need one of those. I don't think Barium is really planning to make normal champions great again. <laughs> Pardon the meme. But they are usually making all of the mutics and voids good ones. And nowadays it's really the mutics and fuck everything else. I feel like that's the Barium mentality if i'm being honest so i wouldn't really expect them to ever do a good event for those again but you could save your shards for one plus one those are always good what i tend to do is that i pull my shards on 2x and then if i have a couple shards during one plus one i go for it and i feel like it works for me more often than not i would say that if you want to save your voids for a potential guaranteed void i think that makes more sense than doing it on ancients and sacreds i just don't think they will ever have any relevant champion in them again because mythics are so good so yeah th that's a long explanation but basically i'm gonna pull everything you guys can do whatever you want oh actually there's one more factor to think about so we have the um, dinax event right now for for Freya. you could wait for a sunday if you don't want to pull her and then you would have normal 2x that's generally actually what i do this might be the first time that i ever pull on these 10x 2x events because they always suck now i don't think Freya is you know game changing like i just said i don't think any of the non mutics and voids are game changing except harima but I would say that Freya is probably one of the better ones. She's kind of like the new mini Necret in a time where Necret sucks. And she does have very interesting passive that basically prevents one of your champions from dying and then heals it up a little bit and gives it an extra turn. That's actually kind of useful, so I wouldn't mind getting her and I'm gonna pull during this, I'm not really expecting to get her, but I wouldn't mind getting her. She also has some other decent utility, but I feel like if she just had a revive on her A3, I feel like she was meant to be a reviver, but then they were like, no, this would be too good. It would almost be comparable to Sifi. We can't have that. We can't have a, another good champion with defense buff that is reviver we must protect Sifi at all costs and then they removed her revive from her A3 but I feel like this skill was meant to have a revive and then she would 
be like a mini Sifi. But okay, so she has some cleanse, block debuff buff, turn meter boost, does increase defense and shield. All of this is good, but nothing game changing. Not unless she was like a nuker or also did a lockout or revive or something like that. But she does do AoE A1 and she does get 5% extra defense every time an ally critical hits. I think this skill had like a multiplier of 2.7 or something like that. Nothing to write home about. You could, I guess, build her as a nuker. I don't think it really makes sense. I think at least her A2, which does the defense buff and shield, this one doesn't hit. Only the A1 hits, I think. So this skill should at least be a nuke. Then it would be more interesting. Or this skill, the A3, should be a revive. In either of those two cases, like if you could actually run her as a nuker or as a reviver, then I think she would actually be relevant. But the passive is still good, so I would definitely give it a go if I get her, because I usually die before I get a turn. That's where I'm at, so you guys can decide if you want to pull for her or not. Was there anything else to say? I don't think so. Oh, no, there's one more thing. I was meant to talk about this. So, I'm super close to getting 10 out of 10 faction guardians on many factions. I want to say this because otherwise people are people would tell me that don't do this, just save or guaranteed. But I also do want to get dupes. I don't think, you know, pulling on some 15x harima is not going to give me any results. So, I'd rather pull on 2x when I need to get more dupes anyway. But I'm like um, one dupe away on so many factions of getting 10 speed, like Dars, Demon Spawn, um, Skinwalkers would be huge for Galleos and Wukong, Barbarians for Armands, Sacred or Order, like so many of them I'm one away. And on Knight Revenant I'm not really close, but <laughs> I would want to get 10 out of 10 obviously on that faction to get 10 speed for Narses and Ankara. So yeah, basically that's a long explanation, that's where we're at, that's why I'm gonna pull everything, but good luck to everybody, let's see what we get. Like I said, I'm not really, <laughs> I don't have, you know, grand grandeur, um, I don't even know this champion, to be honest. Is this one of the new ones? I feel like I have never seen this champion. It's a little bit funny that I don't... I don't know something, but I think this is an epic champion, so... Who cares about them? Yeah, the, the kit is trash. I like his sword. I think he looks kind of funny. He looks kind of, you know... How would I put it? He doesn't look heterosexual, let's put it that way. But the sword is nice, so... I think elves were kind of always like meant to be that kind of faction in many games. I don't know if anyone here played World of Warcraft, but you certainly have... If you did, you certainly have heard some blood elves jokes in that game. Anyway, let's not get into that too much. I don't want to get this video demonetized, so... I'm already getting, you know, some stupid copyright claims from people that don't actually own the songs in my videos, so I don't want to lose any more money than I have to. I mean, I don't lose money on the copyright claims, but I always have to dispute like every other video and it's super annoying. I hate those record companies, they are like the western version of like Nigerian scammers, they try to steal from random YouTubers from songs that they don't own and then, you know, they don't get any penalties from that. <laughs> this is like a therapy session for me. I'm I'm telling how much I hate music labels, but I will tell you that world will be so much better place without music labels. They they ruin everything anyway. And another another Sylvan Watcher champion that is LARPing Blood Elf. I don't know what's up with these, but they do make them kind of uh, kind of funny. Anyway, let's 
Let's get to the pulse. Can we get some legendaries at least? Surely we're gonna get one in 15. You could easily not get one, to be fair, but come on. Let's have a fun time. Let's pull multiple legendaries. Give me one dupe on one of those factions where I need, need the last dupe for the speed. Come on. Give it for my armaments. Give me a barbarian dupe. No? Can you even put mythic champions in faction guardians? I don't know if you can or not, but there's some people that could, could fulfill their faction guardians with mythic champions alone if you can even do that in first place. It's kind of a long term goal for me in the game. I want to fill up my faction guardians. Come on, are we not gonna get a single legendary champion today? Damn. Ah, oh, come on. Well, it is what it is. I can't complain. I got the rooster and Aphidius, and Aphidius got buffed like week after I got him. Even though I don't think he's still gonna be like top meta, but yeah, I, I had my shard RNG, so it is what it is. Kind of unexpected, to be honest. I was, I didn't think this would happen, but. I guess it happens sometimes. I mean, is it like 6% chance to get one? No, it's, yeah, 12%. Yeah, with 12%, we should, I mean, of course it's 12%, but with these odds, we definitely would, on average, get one legendary at least, but it's fine. I'm not too bummed about it. I'm more happy that Aphidios is getting buffs and I can play with him next week. And don't let this discourage you guys from pulling. You guys could get Harima or whatever, so just do it if you want to. Anyway, that's it. Have a nice weekend and see ya.